So when I first got started in photography, I was completely fascinated with the idea of manipulating color to completely change the image. And I was obsessed with finding out a way to select a certain portion of your image and change specifically just that color. So today I thought I would make a quick tutorial on how you can literally change the color of anything in Photoshop. It took me a really long time to figure out how to do this back in the day. So hopefully now I can teach you how to do it and save you a little bit of time. So without further ado, let's get stuck into Photoshop and change the color of this image. So the photo that we're going to be editing today is this shot here. It's an aerial shot that I took in Santa Monica at one of those really popular busy crossings. A little bit of Photoshop work actually went into the back of this. So there was obviously a lot of other cars on the road and I managed to get a plate shot of the actual road by itself with no cars in it. And I've used that as the background and then placed the car on top of that and masked out all the other cars, just revealing the bottom layer. And then I added motion blur to that bottom layer to give the effect that the car's moving quickly in that one direction. If you're interested in a tutorial on how to do something like this, let me know down in the comments. All right, so today we're gonna try and specifically change just the color of this car in the image. So when you're in Photoshop, the first thing that you want to do do is to go in and make sure that the subject that you want to change the color of is selected somehow. So in this case, I actually have it on a completely different layer to all the other layers. So if I affect this top layer here, it's only going to affect the car. But if that's not the case, what you can do is you can make a rough adjustment just around the car using the lasso tool and you can get as detailed as you want. But because the background here is neutral, I'm just going to go over the car really roughly just so that we have a basic selection for our subject to then change the color of. Okay, so once that's selected, what you're going to want to do is go over into the adjustments tab and click on this little icon here that says hue saturation. So if you click on that and then press option, click, you'll get that little arrow. That means that that adjustment layer is only going to affect this layer. So these two layers are technically connected. Anything you do here is gonna affect what's underneath it. So as you can see on this drop down menu here, we have a few options. So we have master, reds, yellows, greens, cyan, blues, and magentas. And these are obviously all different color profiles which you can go in and specifically adjust accordingly. Now, because our car is blue, we're gonna to wanna to click the blue tab. If I leave it on master here and I drag it all the way to the left, it makes the car orange, but it's also made these tail lights here. There's like a blue aqua color, which doesn't look really realistic. It's just got a weird haze to it. So in order to avoid that, what you're going to want to do is undo that and go into the blue tab and then drag that either left or right. And you can see that it's only affecting what's blue. So whatever color your subject is, go in and find that color or the closest color to that and then drag it left and right to find a color that you're happy with. So because this car is a blue tone, it actually falls under blue and cyan. I wanna transform the color of this car to something completely different. So the opposite of blue is red. And usually if you're using Lightroom and just classic color sliders, you're not gonna be able to get a true red color from something that's as blue as this. So to do that, you just wanna go down into the blues and I'm gonna drag them all the way to the right here to make them as warm as possible. Now, as you can see, the color of the car is quite pink and distorted. And that's because there's some other tones in the car that aren't just blue. And the closest color to blue is the cyan's tab. And if I move this around, it's going to affect all of those other colors that we didn't manage to affect in the blue tab. So if I drag this all the way down to the right here, you can see that this car is now red. So we've gone from having a completely blue car to a completely red car. And from there, you can play with the saturation a little bit to make it a bit more realistic. You can play with the lightness, brighten that up a little bit. And then you can export this into Lightroom and then do all your further color adjustments from there. So after I've edited the photo in Lightroom, you can see the before and after. We've got the exact same photo with the exact same edit. The only difference is the color of the car. And the way that we did that was going in, making a selection around that subject and then using the hue saturation slider to go in and target specific tones within that subject. Another great example of this is this photo that I shot here in Qatar. You can see that we've got a subject in the middle with a red dress. I wanted to change the red dress to something that was a little bit more inviting 
and just a little bit more vibrant. So I made it yellow by using this exact same technique and it completely just transformed the mood and the feel of my image. So hopefully you learned something new from this quick little tutorial today. I use this in a lot of my own images all the time, whether it's to change a subject, uh, the color of a light flare or whatever it is, it comes in really handy and it's a really useful tool for getting the best color out of your image and out of a certain subject. If you haven't done so already, I'd love if you'd consider subscribing to the channel. And if you found this video helpful, drop a like down below and let me know what you thought down in the comments. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next video.